everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you've seen the previous video, you've seen I would have did the uh, Tig Eno Wasseli uh, Pulsitheria and this is the other ones I've got which is the Pulsitheria Vitata. And uh, what we're going to do is just go through feeding and watering these and just show you what they're like. But um, basically with these, you can already see in these enclosures here, I forgot how many I've got left actually, one, two, three. 17 of these but they're all from the same sack but you can actually see if I go in closer here if you can see some of them they're all different sizes so they're all from the same sack you can see number 14 there and you can see this one here on the court but we'll go in and have a look at them in a second you can see this one moving here but some are larger than others and that's what I reckon, if you see that size there, and then you see this one here, you can see this one's a lot smaller. And look at the size of this one that just moves, it's massive. So some of these are very big, and then you see some of them are a lot smaller. So I'm thinking the smaller ones are females. And like you've got him walking there, it's potentially a male, but we'll go through them. But what I was just gonna quickly show you is these, when I go through feeding them, they run around and they come out straight away. The Tig Reno Essie that you've seen in the last video, they stay still, they like to hide, uh, but these will run out and they'll go all over the place. So this is gonna be an interesting one. So Okay, so this is the first one, but it's um, I've got it labeled as number five. But this one here, as you can see, and the interesting thing about this is look at the way they do the webbing. So this one's just webbed on the top of the court park, absolutely nothing in there at all. But as far as you're concerned, there is no spider in here, but there is they hide so well. This one is there. If you can see the movement right at the bottom, I don't think you can, but we're just gonna, I'll show you what I quickly do. So I literally just put it on a spray, soak the bottom a little bit. You'll probably see this one moves. This is one of the smaller ones. Just give it a little spray everywhere. And then we'll put the cricket in. And this one I'll put a smaller cricket in just because this is a smaller spider. See, this is the first one that you can see the cricket there but you can only just, people who know pokies can know the markings. You can see to the right of that hole, that is the Fatata. And it's a good few centimeters, but they're so well camouflaged, but this one doesn't really move at all. So we'll just go through it and we'll show you and you'll see the difference that some of the others make. So that's one down. Right, so this one I've marked up number 15 and the spider is there, bottom left. Um, you can see the uh, feces from that spider, but you can see the abdomen's got a good size, but hasn't eaten in a week, but it's curled up. And I've noticed that a few of these do this curling up at the bottom, but then if I show you this, we've got the bigger ones that just stay out. And I think that they're the males, they explore more, they're a bit more bolder. The females just curl up like that. So these two first enclosures, I do think are females. I don't have them sexed yet, because that's um, the molts are all destroyed. But just have a look at this. So it's a similar sort of setup with the uh, webbing on the top. A few strands over to the side where the cocoa fiber has been brought up, but um, you can see both down. But we'll go through, trust me, some of these will come out in a second, but I don't think this one will. Give it a light mist in and we'll put in a little bit of a cricket. Lightly squish this one. Okay, run the wrong way. anything no so let's go on to the next one right and this one i labeled number 14 it's just easier to keep an eye on them and this one here i haven't checked in over a week so you can see it's a bit drier um, but it was in mod process so i just left that alone and you can see let's hold that up there you can see the spider there fangs are hard and ready so we're going to put one in but this one's a little bit bigger um, and this one's still in the corner as well so let's see if we get some movement let me 
you do, and this one's not going to move too much, but we'll see if we can feed. Here we go. Sorry, cricket. nothing net with this one but they do eat they'll eat later on but you can see we're getting movement so i actually will show you a spider in a minute it's probably going to be more likely from one of these but um there we go so we can see well i want to get them out so you can see the colors but let's quickly go on to the next one okay we've got the next one here slightly higher cork bark as you can see absolutely nothing that side but if i to show you there Oh, there's a malt down at the bottom. The spider is literally below these tongs and I can't really get a better angle. But there's another one there. So I'm going to try and feed. But there we go. So she or he's not going to take, but it just shows you that classic pokey stance and the coloration. So we'll leave this one to take later. Okay, number five. Drop in the cricket. I think it's taken straight away. But this one here, look at it, it's like scaffolding. You can't see it at all. It's done like a webbing, it's done a curtain, it's all built inside. I think there's about two, three maybe malts in there um, that I can't get out, but this one lives within its own building that it's devised. It's absolutely amazing that it does that, but there you go. It's not gonna give you a chance of seeing it. Quick spray, on to the next one. Okay, another one here, number six. And you can see removing the malt, but you can see the way this one's done the webbing. It's done like the cocoa fiber, it's brought it up onto the cork bark and then attached it with like strands at the side. So let's grab one of these crickets that I hate so much, see if we can feed this one. Drop that in. Okay, let it run around and obviously let it get to the spider and we'll see if um, he or she will take. There we go. So that's gone in there straight away. Now I am actually recording my voice over um, after I did this one because I had that much bad hay fever my voice you couldn't really understand what I was saying but yeah but this one here another potential thumbnail that I'm going to pick out uh, I'm going to do that through my videos from now on and just see if I get the best shots put it in there it's more that's mine that's me and that's what I've got I mean come on look at that look look at the eyes staring right at me and I think if I remember rightly she made me jump if I think so in a minute, like she's trying to move back into her like hammock that she's made. She's got the cricket on her, but I don't know whatever I did, but she comes towards me, I think. There we go. And it made me jump again. So I think I jump at these all the time. I don't know why she lunged. Probably just because thinking, oh, we're going to get another cricket or just sense my movement. But there yeah, you can see the orange coloration on the legs. Never knew they had that, but that is absolutely gorgeous. I think you'll agree. Sorry about that with the jumpy camera, but I've got um, quite excessive hiccups due to bad hay fever at the minute, but um, it only lasts for a few more seconds. I'm trying to get you a good shot there and zoom in. So I do apologize for the jumpy camera. Um, it is just myself. There we go, that's got better now and stopped. So you can get a good look at this one and I'm amazed by all the different colorations. Um, there was a good take by her, I'm hoping her, but probably a him. But look at the carapace in the abdomen, the markings there with the black Christmas tree style, but the orange sort of hairs coming off there. But I love the eye mask, it's just amazing. You can see it's took the cricket. So it was a good take on that one. I haven't got as amazing footage as what I wanted for you guys on this one, but I just wanted to give you a look at these because I've had them for so long as babies. They're getting bigger, but look at that mask. Almost like Zorro-esque, absolutely brilliant. Okay, number eight, here we go. We're gonna try and feed this one with a big cricket with wings. See if it will take off. No, oh, there you go, straight away. Look at that, and that is absolutely stunning. I managed to get a good shot there. Potential thumbnail, I think, not too sure. But I like the Audi pattern underneath the um, feet there. It's just amazing, the little pads, but there we go. That one's gonna go off, but that was a good shot, good take, so hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, another one, number nine. I've already watered this one at the bottom. These are the first time I'm using these slightly larger crickets, but yeah, they make them jump and um, slightly unpredictable. Um, but they are getting to the size now where they can take these crickets easily. So we'll just put that in again. And I have no doubt off camera when I put them back, they'll take, but here you go. Potentially another male, this one. Oh, that's a good shot. 
but there we go we'll give you a close-up look on that so i'm not sure if the orange coloration of the hairs are coming up on the legs but what i wanted to show you is why it's called a ghost ornamental look at it the white it's just come up so vibrant it's absolutely beautiful this one Right, so if you used to look there, you can't see anything at all. All you see is web, dirt, cork bark, and coca fiber at the bottom. But if I was to tell you to look at the hole, then you can see some hair. And there she is, I believe this one is a she. But look how well camouflaged that is. So let's just see if we can get this one to eat. The female ones I'm noticing, is not definitely confirmed, but the ones we potentially think are female, they seem to not eat out in the open. They like to be in the dark and they eat later, because obviously they're not as big as the males. But, <coughs> Nope, not yet as I thought, so the cricket is in down there. And she is just turned around head first this way, but we'll give her a little spray. And we're nearly on to these ones that normally do come out. Well, and I think this one is female as well, so we're not too sure at the minute, a bit smaller. But look at how webbed at the top, nothing at the bottom, and you can't really see where she is. But I know where she is, and she's literally right there, she's underneath like a hammock. Um, she's between this and the cork bark and also the floor. I can see a foot hanging out just there But the females definitely are completely different to the males. We're going to tie with a smaller cricket just to see See if anything happens Yes, there we go. There you go. You can see the difference straight away. The males are a lot more leggier and as I said, this one, they're all out of the same sack, but um, this one is at least, I would even say two centimeters smaller than the biggest one we've got, which is definitely a male. And all the male have the same other characteristics. They don't hide, they roam around in their enclosure, yet they're only, I would say they're probably juvies now, small juvies, but the females don't, they still hide. So you can see straight away. So we're nearly onto the bigger males, but um, there we go. I've not had a good chance of like, sorting out these molts because they destroy the um, abdomens but I'm not too bothered we can almost do it ventrally but I'm not bothered until they get a little bit bigger because definitely got females and I've definitely got males so it's not too much of an issue but you do have to be careful if you do want to go and have some of these in your collection then you need to obviously be aware of them so all the pokies that we keep we have different types of them and they all act slightly different but these here they do the bits with the legs fanning out and backwards which is just awesome but these are very skittish the fatata the tig ring Rosselli, they don't seem to be that skittish but i find our ones are quite bold but you don't want to get tagged by one of these let's have a look there we go right down at the bottom i'm not sure if this one is male or female I'm possibly thinking female because it is a little bit chunky and not so leggy, but we'll try with a smaller one. There's the cricket, you can see the feet of her, but as I said again, she probably won't eat till I put it back. Oh, she did. There you go. There you go, sweetie. So she did eat, but I think that one's a female. The legs just look wider, it's not as long. Um, until I can get to sex them, but there's another one done. Right, in this one, you can't see anything at the bottom, but in this one is a bigger boy. Now, if you remember the one I just showed you, it's a lot smaller, about two centimeters, maybe two and a half smaller than this one, but the feet at the front, they were more feathered and just looked more chunkier. Now this one here, you can see straight away, this one's easy couple centimeters bigger, but look at the legs, just more thinner. So you can, I'll see if I can entice this one. Nothing. 
apply. There it is there. There we go. But you can see the difference in size straight away, look. From the same sack, so we get off the shadow there, absolutely massive double in size compared to the one you just saw before the female. So the males do grow really, really quick at these uh, pulsotheria. As you can see again, I've got another one down there. This is another large one. Let's go straight to feeding. made me jump but look at the colors of this one it's more orange absolutely stunning and look at the markings on the the carapace on the head slightly different on this one more blacker markings but like i said they're all the same sack but the coloration is slightly different there we go so i'm unsure if this is male or female some of them are a bit in between leggy and chunky so i'm not too sure but i'm thinking this one's male as well so but absolutely stunning okay down at the bottom right so i've got three more left of these to show you there we go oh let it go but it will probably take that again let's just give it some water Okay, and this one is just laying on an old malt, so I'll see if I can get a cricket. Typical cricket style, I'm dead. Okay, so we're going to leave that one and move on to the next one. We have the last one, which I don't know if you'll see, because it is down this side underneath the cork bark but I'm going to try and drop a cricket and bring it around this way but I think this one's potentially a female wow god she took it made me jump I can't get in there because it's so dark There we go. So that's the other one that I think is potentially a female as well. So she took the cricket, so I don't want to stir her too much. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed that and see you on the next video.